Right guys, I'm going to do a little over unity demonstration. Now what we've got here is two identical capacitors. Uh, each of them is 10,000 microfarads and I've got them both shorted out at the minute. So if we were to take a meter reading off them, uh, no surprise, zero volts. No surprise, zero volts. So we've got zero volts in both classes. Now I'm just going to connect this one. But we're off cat. You're not free energy. Now we'll take a battery. Now I'm going to use the battery for a second just to charge one of these capacitors. So connect that together. Put a little spark. And that should be fully charged by now. Make sure the two ends of the lead don't touch. And now we measure the voltage in this capacitor, which is now. And I hope you can see that it's at 12.4847 or six. It's dropping because the voltmeter is showing some of the energy. Okay, let's just say there's 12.5 volts in there, even though it's gone below that now. Anyway, we uh, we now disconnect our second capacitor, which we know is on zero volts. Connect the two positives together, and then we take our two negative ends. I we'll touch them together as well. Leave that for a second. That should do. Video only takes a split second, but I want to be sure. So now we measure what's in each of these capacitors. And we've got in this one 6.24, ish in that one, and we've got 6.36 in our other one. So. Uh, yeah, that hasn't really shown us over unity, that's shown us pretty much unity. Now, okay, okay so now we're going to start again. You see I've got my two 10,000 microfarad capacitors. Both of them are shorted out at the moment. So, if I get the voltmeter, obviously this is going to show zero volts since they're shorted. Oh, maybe a good, good connection there. Zero volts. And... Zero volts, no surprise. Okay, so now I take my 12 volt battery, which I'm just going to use to charge one of the capacitors. Now, there we go. Now, we can get rid of that battery. Don't need that. I have to go over there. So check how much potential we've got in the capacitor now, which is. 12.45 volts ish. 12.44, 12.45, whatever. Now we're being across the oscillator, which uh, is basically one of John Benini's designs with just a little bit of a modification and, of course, uh, I'm, getting tangled up. I'm using a, a tall radial coil. Here you can have a close look at that. There we go. Uh, the toroid is not important, I'm just experimenting with that bit at the minute. So, uh, you can just assume it's a standard Bedini oscillator. Now, we take the charge capacitor, we can leave that over there for a minute, and we take our uncharged capacitor, and we hook the negative to the positive input of the oscillator, and then we take our charge capacitor, and connect the negative of the charge capacitor to the negative input of the oscillator. We then take the output wire of the oscillator and connect that to the positive of the uncharged capacitor. And right, so all that leaves us with now is um, a loose leg on the positive of the charge capacitor. Now we'll take a quick volt reading just to show nothing's changed. There you go, the uncharged capacitor may have gained slightly. Let me just measure that. There you go, it's now got 0 0.03 volts in that, so practically nothing. And the charged capacitor, hopefully still have over 12 volts in it. There you go, 12.18 volts. So there's about 12.2 volts altogether in the system. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to discharge this capacitor into the uncharged capacitor through the oscillator and it's hopefully going to pick up some energy along the way, so we'll see. Connect these two wires together. 
nothing too dramatic there. There you go, that should be enough. Now we take another volt reading. And now in the uncharged capacitor, we've got. Oops, I can keep everything steady. 7.24 volts, 7.23 volts ish. So we'll say 7.2, 7.2 volts. That'll do. And in the previously charged capacitor, we've got 8.47 volts, which has given us uh, just over well, around 15 volts, which is pretty groovy. So we'll just just to show. 15 volts of potential from 12 volts potential. We disconnect both capacitors. Wire them in series. Right, so we connect that to that. And that to the other end of the two capacitors wired in series. Now hopefully. There you go. We've now got 15.6261 volts. Yum, yum.